how and where to get the data this is a very big problem that most of the people face uh, who are trying to use algorithms or uh, trying to do systematic trading where to get the good quality data from how to get market data where to get it uh, which um, uh, are the more reliable uh, data data uh, data vendors or data sources where can i get real time data where can i get historical data how to use it in python all these questions so there is a there is a bit of a, a bit of a mess out there honestly uh, when it comes to data uh, and it's really difficult uh, to get uh, the quality data uh, that you can get from there these are some of the data points that we have tried to put in um, for stock data, which is the most uh, sought after. There are certain sources like um, Yahoo Finance and uh, Google Finance, Quandle, Investify. Um, and um, what we also have is fundamental uh, uh, data, like which you can get from Yahoo, Simfin, Sheridan. A lot of these sources are free. A lot of them are paid. Now, what we have seen is that you might be very keen to um, go for you might be uh, might be keen to uh, you might be keen to go for um, a very you can say high quality data and you're trying to get it free it might be difficult there are very few places where you can get uh, really high quality data for free so paid data sources might be uh, one of the um, one of the main options there but uh, but yeah what you can always do is you can always get the data especially the time series data which is your uh, uh, the equity or uh, stock market the, the open high low close or the transaction data essentially um, you can get it from well, the market data you can get it from your broker and most of the brokers are across the globe are allowed to share data to their clients for free or for a very nominal um, nominal fee so so that's the one uh, key source of data that you can or that you should explore if you are um, uh, doing it at a uh, at an individual level uh, the trading um, there are a few like investify uh, quandle uh, has a lot of free as well as paid data sources it's pretty interesting investify uh, again a, a library for uh, trading view i believe so where you can get uh, uh, or uh, uh, pull data using this library for uh, various markets and uh, then you have different types of data so stock data is one thing which is obviously the most fundamental requirement but um, what we also have is a fundament, uh, the fundamental data itself like um, the p by e ratio or the balance sheet data other things which you want to which you might want to pull uh, directly into your codes right into your algorithms which many many of the platforms do allow now or the macroeconomic data right so that you have world bank oecd eurostat rbi which is reserve bank of india and and many other many other sources which are there uh, earnings calendar is uh, essentially your uh, the earning uh, which is uh, the uh, the company earnings the reports annual reports the quarterly reports which are there so earning calendar which might you might be useful for a lot of strategies uh, so that's something which uh, is relevant then what we also see here is uh, the financial news data uh, which is pulling in the news from dif different sources uh, kegel is something which uh, has got huge number of uh, news and data sets so it, something which is of high interest um, sentiment data uh, this is something which is becoming more and more popular in fact sentiment data is um, uh, something that we are uh, uh, we launched something called epat nsa sometime back um, uh, in january this year so which is a specialization program just for the epat participants um, so epat news sentiment uh, uh, analysis and alternative data um, so that's the program uh, now there it purely focuses the whole specialization focuses on the sentiment analysis and the um, uh, and the alternative data and news analysis right so so how to use that using different algorithms how to how to use that in your strategies so it's some it's a domain which is growing really fast and uh, it's something which is uh, pretty pretty interesting so sentiment data is offered by many different um, uh, vendors revenue which is your erstwhile uh, thomson reuters uh, bloomberg ravenpack market Psych, a lot of them 
Um, futures data, um, you can get it from Yahoo as well as Quandle, Bar Charts as another source. Spot market uh, data, you can get it from the exchanges uh, as well as uh, EIA. Crypto, uh, there are a lot of them. Binance is just uh, one of them that we have just mentioned over here. Um, FX, you can, uh, spot FX, you can get from the CFD players uh, or FXCM or Yahoo Finance. And Indian options, uh, because there were a lot of questions around that, so that's why I mentioned here. So you can get it from uh, the NSC uh, website or NSC itself or NSC PY. Please mind it that uh, some of it might not be, uh, might be skipping data at times and the quality can be a concern. One uh, frequent question that comes in is um, how to figure out that how's the quality of data, who will be a good quality uh, source um, for getting the data. Interesting thing is uh, that's personal experience and um, I'm kind of generalizing it, but there are a lot of exceptions. So take it with a pinch of salt, but the older data sources, so when it comes to the quality uh, quality data, what we have seen is that uh, it's a lot of legwork, a lot of hard work where you have to manually clean huge amount of data. Now, the firms which have been there for many, many decades, they have been doing that legwork and they have now created a very amazing or high quality data, which is great. Um, the new firms, newer firms, which are more tech driven, they have used um, very nicely, used the technology um, uh, and the el different algorithms to clean the data. But what happens is that there are huge number of exceptions which remain. So, so they are still might find the data gaps might be there at times for those firms which is now the answer would have been very easy that okay in that case go for the older firms but the and there is another problem another problem is that uh, if you have the old firms who have really high quality data they have not been able to come up with the interfaces uh, where you can pull the data or use the data or consume the data with that much ease which the newer firm has done a tremendous job because they are very very tax heavy tech savvy so so what to do? So that's where the optimization problem begins, that you have to uh, figure out what your exact data requirements are, how sensitive are you to the um, uh, like extremely paranoid level clean data, or uh, is it something that is more of, um, uh, you, can, you, can, you, you can do with the, the approximately good data. So all those factors will play a big role. Just a disclaimer, the, this list here is a non-exhaustive list and it is not in order of any quality or correctness metric. We do not have any association with any of these um, uh, firms and uh, we, um, uh, in, terms of the, in terms of the data uh, providing. So, so we do not take any liability for any, um, uh, any correctness of uh, the data or any sources or the quality of the data overall. So please, you have to do, you'll have to do your homework a bit, but these can be some really good starting points, I believe.